Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to On Our Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in the comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, as always, you already know. If you have any questions as well, make sure to drop on below. I would be happy to make a video for you too. Same as the over 100 videos I made so far on Shopify customization. And you should be a witness for that if you are a subscriber more than a year ago. You already know, I made so many requested videos. I said over a hundred videos. If you don't believe me, just check out the channel. Scroll down and check out the channel and you will see for yourself. And not all of them actually requests, but most of them. Most of them, they were requests from subscribers and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking for. And if you are interested in Shopify customization and you want to be an expert, you want to know how to do each trick on your own, Subscribe to the channel. I don't have anything to sell. I don't sell, sell any courses. I don't have any calls to sell I do provide them actually completely free and all the content I do uh, create I do post it completely free I don't have any memberships or anything like that. So it's a win-win situation I don't know why you don't want to do that, but I'll let you choose as I said I respect your opinion and I respect your decision Just a like button. That's all I'm asking and here I am again back in this video with actually a request again which was requested like two times or three times from people because I did make a video like a year ago on how to make the header transparent on your Shopify store. And later I got a request how to make it not transparent on the scroll. Once you scroll down, it's not transparent anymore. I made that video. And in that video, I got another request, which is how to make the transparent header not transparent on hover. Once the customer or visitor hover over the, uh, the header, it will not be transparent anymore. But once he moves the cursor away from the header, it should be back again as transparent. And here I am making the video. And yes, you heard all right. In this video, I will show you how to make the header not transparent on the hover on your Shopify store. And we will do that without using any apps or anything like that by using our own code as always. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard in here. And I have down team here, as you can see, which is the one I do demonstration on. Uh, so all the tricks I do like the, in the videos, I do them on down team. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free teams. I mean the most used ones, which is the sense refresh spotlight and trade. And if you are wondering why is that? Because I do actually try the tricks on all of these teams. I mean behind the scenes. So I don't board people in the video. I only did demonstration on down team, but behind the scenes, before I recorded this video, I did try it actually on each one of these. So even if you are not using down team, you are using one of these, it should work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out, but I'm sure it will, no worries. So I just have to say that in the beginning, so I give you a peace of mind. So you would know that I'm doing the trick in the video on down team, that means it will work on these now. No, it will actually. So here you go, you got your peace of mind. And without any more talking again, Let's just get to it and show you how to make the header not transparent on the hover. So this is the Shopify store I will do demonstration on. And by the way, everything you see on the Shopify store I did in demonstrations, in videos. For example, this moving announcement bar where I click on it. If I click on it, it's going to take me to future products. And you can customize the click or the link to any section you want in your Shopify store. Even a page, if you want to direct it to, the, to a page, this will work as well as the uh, custom search bar. A lot more actually, not just these. If you are interested in any anything you saw in the Shopify store and you think uh, will be suited or will work for your Shopify store, then check out the channel. That video will be already posted once you see the trick on the Shopify store. But what I'm talking about in this video is this one right here, the header. As you can see, it's transparent, but if I scroll down, it's not transparent anymore. And in my video, as I said, I show you how to, uh, to make it not transparent on the scroll. It's actually, you can change this color, not just not transparent and set it to default color. No, you can actually change this color to any color you want once you hover down. So as I said, it's transparent. If I scroll down, not transparent. But the request was, what if I hover over it like this? It will not be transparent anymore. That's what the request was. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So as always, we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So obviously get back to Shopify dashboard then the first thing you're going to do is click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And the next thing you're going to do is use the search bar at the top left corner right here 
and simply search for a specific file called team.liquid. Simply type in team and you will see team.liquid right here. Click on it and you will see a bunch of code in here. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. Then you will see an option here or a section or a code, sorry, called uh, forward slash body. Let me zoom in on it. Here we go. This section right here it says forward slash body. This is what you need. Make sure to find this. And it's going to be at the bottom of the page. Just scroll all the way down and you will see it in here. So we need to paste in some code in here above forward slash body or before forward slash body. But there is no space in here because it, ha it has this style in here. So simply click front of the last one. I mean, in my case, it's style. Uh, in your case, it should be anything else. I don't know. So simply type in front of, uh, click, sorry, click front of the last thing above forward slash body and hit enter on your keyboard. It's going to open up a new space in here with nothing on it because as I said we need to paste in some code in here and in order to get that code you need to hire a developer pay him wait 24 hours then he get back to you no worries no worries just scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're gonna see this beautiful right here short code that will do the trick for us and it has an animation actually not an animation but just a delay once you hover over it with the mouse, it's going to be like half second delay before it shows the color. And that looks very good. If you're not interested in that, you want it to straight away show the color, simply remove this line right here, the transition. Remove this line, it's going to be like color. But you will see, you will like it actually. So obviously, select the whole code in here. Make sure to select the whole thing, right click and copy. And by the way, this is a color. Let me Google it so you can see. This is a color, hex color. Here we go. It's a black color. If you want to change the color, simply play around with this like this. Then pick blue maybe and copy this color, this hex code, sorry. Copy this hex code and replace it in here. But in my case, I'm going to keep it as black just for demonstration. And as I said, after you copy the code, get back in here and simply paste it above forward slash body as I said. Make sure it's above forward slash body or before forward slash body. So simply paste it in here. I'm gonna keep it as black as I said. Then I'm gonna click on save button. After a couple of seconds, it's saved. We will get back to Shopify store. Reload the page. Let me click on the home. Okay, now it's, you see, it was some <laughs> something happened. If I, if I hover over it, as you can see, it's, it's black as you can see if I hover it's not suitable to make it black because the menu is black so maybe change it to another color I'm sure you will but in my case it's black as you can see once I hover over it it's black if I took the cursor away it's not black it's transparent and that's how you make the header not transparent on the hover on your Shopify store and if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now I think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one